In this episode, we delve into the early years of Dolores Cannon's life, exploring her formative experiences that set her on a path to becoming a world-renowned hypnotherapist, spiritual teacher and author. Dolores Cannon was born on April 15, 1931, in St. Louis, Missouri. Raised in a loving, traditional family, Dolores was influenced by her parents' values and beliefs. Despite living in a conventional household, Dolores always had a curious and inquisitive mind, eager to explore the mysteries of the world around her. As a young girl, Dolores was fascinated by spiritual and metaphysical concepts. She voraciously read books on these subjects, gradually developing her understanding of the world beyond the physical realm. During her teenage years, Dolores attended a Catholic high school where she continued to expand her knowledge and question conventional wisdom. Amidst her fascination with the spiritual and metaphysical realms, Dolores nurtured another passion, her love for opera and singing. She was an opera singer. That was her first dream, was to be a singer. Dolores was captivated by the power and beauty of the human voice, dreaming of one day gracing the stage as an opera singer. With her sights set on a career in opera, Dolores pursued her musical ambitions with determination and enthusiasm. She studied singing and practiced diligently, honing her vocal talents and gaining confidence in her abilities. Dolores aspired to share her gift with the world and touch the hearts of audiences through the transformative power of music. She had exceptional abilities. She had things like, she had an ability to, um, I think I talked about this before, when she would she would read palms, you know, and, and, and she would do, um, like, because we were in the military, um, they would go to these officers, you know, to the, the club, you know, they always had these club functions and stuff like that. And so somewhere in there, I guess she started reading somebody's palms. The next thing you know, there's a big line forming for everybody, you know, for her to read palms and stuff. So it's like, that was maybe an indication back then <laughs> that she had something. Um, she was always curious. As she embarked on her journey into marriage and motherhood, her priorities shifted. With the responsibilities of raising a family and supporting her husband's military career, Dolores had to set aside her dream of becoming an opera singer. Yet she never lost her love for music, and it continued to play an essential role in her life. In 1951, at the age of 20, Dolores married her husband, Johnny Cannon. The couple had four children together, raising them with love and instilling in them a sense of curiosity and wonder about the world. Dolores balanced her family life with her pursuit of knowledge, never losing sight of her passion for spiritual exploration. Dolores' life took a pivotal turn when her husband Johnny, a career military officer, became interested in hypnosis as a way to help others. The couple began studying hypnosis together, and Dolores quickly discovered her innate talent for guiding others into deep hypnotic states. This newfound skill set the stage for her groundbreaking work in past life regression and exploration of the metaphysical world. I remembered about mom, one of mom's lives that she was telling me about. I don't remember it. She, you know, she had sessions herself with a friend of hers, and they, she found out why she was here and through her relationship with all of, all of the ones in her family. Okay, and she said that one day in a class, and I'm like, what? I don't remember this. Okay, what was what was our thing, you know, and stuff. And um, and she said ours was we were in. She thinks was Ireland. I was her son, and I was I couldn't get along. I was having trouble getting along with the father. You know, it was like the typical father son kind of thing, or you know, it's like that struggle power struggle thing. And I just got I, I was fed up with it. I'm like I'm leaving for America, and I left, and I never came back. She never saw me again, and her heart was broken. And at that time, that when she told me this, this is when I had. You know, we were working, and that's how it felt. I felt like I had this duty to her. Dolores began experimenting with hypnosis on family and friends, honing her technique and growing more confident in her abilities. In 1968, Dolores conducted her first past life regression session, which opened the door to a world of uncharted territory. This initial experience ignited a spark within Dolores, fueling her passion for past life exploration and setting her on a path that would ultimately lead to the development of her unique quantum healing hypnosis technique. As Dolores continued to explore the world of hypnosis and past life regression, 
she began documenting her findings and experiences. In 1979, she began writing her first book, Five Lives Remembered, although not made public to many years later. The book chronicles her initial foray into the world of past life regression. This marked the beginning of Dolores's prolific writing career, which would ultimately span over 18 books and countless articles on hypnosis, past lives, and metaphysical phenomena. As we've seen, Dolores Cannon's early life laid the foundation for her groundbreaking work in hypnosis, past life regression, and spiritual exploration.